reveille sounded at 4.30. The barracks was in a howl. Everybody I'm began troubled yelling that no one came to see me, and breakfast. I don't know why I haven't received an answer Dear to my mother, letter this week. Just a quick note. I haven't received any. I am very well, as always. I Today wish some in of the you people were over here to see your Canadian own. chat. The troops were all assembled in a picturesque valley. We are going on a hospital ship, I think. But I hope all is well with the family, and that all are in good Love health. Love to all, and tell them Goodbye not to worry about me. I'm going to be all right and pull through. Dear Mother, I don't really know where to start to tell you my impressions of the voyage. First off, we left Amherst at 10 a.m. We had lots of fun on the train and the villages we passed on the way were all lovely. We arrived in Halifax at 4.30 p.m. the same day and there were vehicles waiting to take us to the docks and we boarded the Saxony immediately. The sergeants were put in the second class cabins. We were four to a cabin, very comfortable. Your son, Edouard. My dear Papa, our camp is situated at East Sandling three and a half miles from Shorncliffe and four miles from Folkestone, one of the most beautiful beaches in England. We are being prepared for the kind of life we will lead at the front. The men are anxious to get going. I am confident they will fight with vigor and enthusiasm. We returned to the trenches the day before yesterday. Not the most comforting of spectacles. We were up to our knees in mud, and the German artillery were taking pleasure in sending us shrapnel. If you could see our men, you would be so proud. A machine gunner, hit in the hip, undid his own trousers and soaked the wound with iodine. After that, he helped bandage his leg. This is only one example amongst a thousand. It saddens me to tell you that the 22nd lost an officer today. He is the first officer to die, and the loss is very painful for us, his comrades. Major Roy was killed this afternoon by a German bomb that landed a few feet from him. trenches for four days. I cannot speak of the war, for I do not know the words that could make you understand. The only thing I can say is that it is terrible, unbelievable. My dearest Mater, I know you wish to know the details of what happened. On the 28th of August, Shortly after the beginning of one of our attacks, I was hit in the right side by a bullet, which made a through-and-through -through wound, fracturing two ribs in its course. 
As I was being dressed by a stretcher bearer, a shell exploded at our side, killing the poor stretcher bearer instantly and causing severe wounds to my right and left legs. Fortunately, no bones were broken in the left leg, but the right was badly shattered, and it was found necessary to amputate just above the knee. Most devotedly, your son George. My dearest Mater, London on the news of the armistice went wild with joy. Hundreds of thousands of people thronged the streets, shouting, singing, and dancing. Still, I should have preferred very much to have been with the battalion in France. I can imagine what wild scenes took place along the battlefront. C'est avec regret que je dois vous informer qu'un rapport officiel a été reçu au sujet de votre fils. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Je vous remercie de votre soutien à ce sujet. Während ihr Sohn in einem Schützengraben mit einem Kameraden sprach, schlug eine Bombe ein. Mit großem Bedauern ich erteile Ihnen das Erhalten des offiziellen Mitteilungen über Ihren Sohn. Please accept my deepest sympathy at the loss of your very gallant son.